All right, so iPhone 13 Pro. We all want to know everything about it. But I wish something magical was gonna happen, like Apple coming out with holograms. But for at least now, it's not gonna happen, for sure. In this video, I'm gonna cover what Apple might be putting in their upcoming flap... Flapships? Flagships? But this video is only for iPhone 13 Pro. For 13, I'll make a separate video. Before we jump into the video, I want to welcome you to The Torched. I am Pulkit and on this channel, I like to make videos about tech. And my goal is to create a positive community around tech where we can all come together and talk about it and help each other. All right, let's get started. All the timestamps are mentioned in the scrubber, so you can just quickly go forward and jump into the section that you want to watch, all right? The first thing that I want to cover is the colors of the iPhone 13 Pro. The latest leaks from Max Weinbach and everything Apple Pro says that Apple might be working on two brand new finishes. One is matte black. We all know how MKBHD is gonna be like when matte black comes out. Speaking of MKBHD, I'm wearing red and black. I didn't do it on purpose. The second is orangish like bronze finish. I'm not sure how would that look. <laughs> Usually Apple has a good track record of making their devices look beautiful, except the iPhone 5C. But we will wait and watch how it turns out. We can trust this report from Max Weinbach and everything Apple Pro because Max Weinbach was the first person who reported that Apple might be coming with a Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro and which turned out to be true so we can definitely rely on that two other colors that apple might be adding will be gold and silver all right so second what do you want to know design or display choose one you have three seconds all right let's go with the design iphone 13 pro is going to come in two sizes same as the 12 pro and the 12 pro max so it's going to be 13 pro and 13 pro max 13 pro is going to be 6.1 inches display and 13 pro max is going to be 6.5 inches display there's not going to be major design changes except two things the first change is going to be the stainless steel rails of the design that are rumored to be less fingerprint magnate it is speculated that they will come with a special kind of coating which will make them more fingerprint resistant the second change is the one that we have been waiting for a long time since the iphone 10 came out that notch there have been a lot of rumors that says that the notch is gonna get smaller which way we don't know that yet there have been multiple rumors of the notch that says that it might get shorter or it might get narrower john prosser released a video in which he mentions that the notch is gonna be shorter in height but the recent reports from mac rumors all are pointing towards narrower notch which um this is something that i don't understand apple is a trillion dollar company they have all the resources that a company asks for and they can't come up with a notchless design i know i'm sure they have a notchless iphone in testing somewhere but why they're not able to nail it down if apple being the biggest tech giant cannot do it then what's the point of being the biggest tech giant all right so speaking about the notch let's talk about that display shall we the only reason for me that I didn't buy the iPhone 12 Pro or the Pro Max that it came with a 60Hz display. The only thing that I care about 120Hz display. If I would have bought the iPhone 12 Pro and then iPhone 13 Pro is gonna come with 120Hz display, I will want to buy the new iPhone 13 and to be honest, I don't have that kind of money. So I decided to wait for iPhone 13 Pro really hoping that it will come with 120 hertz display and the good thing is that we are hearing a lot of rumors that confirms that there is going to be 120 hertz display it is rumored that apple might be also giving an option for always on display on their iphone 13 pro and pro max i would like that speaking of the displays there is going to be one more thing that apple might be adding to their displays let's talk about the biometrics First, Face ID. Yeah, Apple always says that the Face ID is better, it is much faster, it works from more angles, but I really don't like Face ID anymore because I'm mostly outside and we cannot use the Face ID outside because of, you know, mask. It is kind of annoying putting your passcode all the time to unlock your device. Where I'm going with this is that Apple is testing an in-display Touch ID. Yay! So most probably Touch ID is gonna come back to iPhones and most probably it's gonna be an in display which is gonna be great. There have been a lot of reports that Apple is testing a lot of prototypes that have in display Touch ID. We really need Touch ID to unlock our phones much easier when we are outside. Let's talk about the ports. There were rumors that Apple might be coming with a portless iPhone at least one device out of the four. But the good news is that Apple is switching to USB-C. Nope, that's never gonna happen. But what might happen is that Apple will most likely release a one terabyte iPhone. One terabyte. 
My MacBook over here is 256 gigs. That's four times more. I don't know how many people need a one terabyte phone, but it's gonna happen. All right, so next up is battery life. The rumors are saying all the four iPhones this year, 13 mini, 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max are gonna get a bigger size battery than the last year. Combining with Apple's newer processor A15 Bionic, which means that it is going to be much faster, much more power efficient, I think we can expect better battery lives from the previous generations like the 12 and the 12 Pros. So we can safely say that the battery life is going to be better all across the board. Alright, last but not the least, let's talk about those cameras. There have been a lot of things going on with the cameras, but it's not gonna be beneficial to us the, so the first thing is you see how these cameras protrude from the back so it is being speculated that it is going to be much less apple is trying its best to make the camera housing stick out less from the phone's body they will not go all the way flush but they will stick out less than the 12 pro and the 12 pro max the camera lenses are going to be the same and there is not going to be a drastic improvement in the cameras but overall performance yeah it will improve a bit the hardware is most probably going to be the same but Apple is going to be working on the computational side of the things to make their photos and videos look much better. I think the iPhone 12s and the 12 Pros, they already have great cameras, but there is always room for improvement. And I think Apple is going to do that. All right, so that's everything that we know so far for the iPhone 13 Pros. There have been still a few months left and there can be a lot of changes that might happen let me know in the comment section which is the thing that you are mostly excited for and what do you want to see in the new upcoming iphones please consider subscribing because subscribing really helps and it motivates me to make more videos for you guys thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in the next one take care